Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class in our channel, we are going to discuss uh, business economics and financial analysis subject. In this subject, today's topic is accounting equation. So this accounting equation comes under fourth unit. So we'll start today's class. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay, please discuss with your friends regarding the class for going on in our channel. Okay. So dear friends, uh, please watch uh, entire uh, class so that you will not miss any topic. So this subject will be useful for your upcoming semester examination. Okay. Now we'll start discussing. See here I have uh, mentioned accounting equation. First, we'll come to know the importance of accounting equation in business economics and financial analysis. And later we'll we'll discuss one problem related to this accounting equation. Okay. So definitely we'll get uh, one. 15 full 15 marks question from this unit regarding this accounting equation okay so later after completing this in the next class we'll discuss we'll start discussing journal ledger trial balance final accounts and we'll come to know about the balance sheet okay like that uh, we will plan and we'll learn this subject and we'll make it uh, so easy so that you can understand very well and you can give a good presentation in your examination okay now we'll start uh, today's class see here We'll start with this uh, accounting equation. So first, what is accounting equation? See here, accounting equation represents a double entry system. Okay, we know what is double entry system. In double entry system, to, uh, it is uh, the meaning it, itself saying that is some double entry is going on. Means credit and debit is happening in this double entry system that is called as double entry system. So this. Uh, Accounting equation regarding this double entry system shows the relationship between the assets and equities. First, we'll learn what are assets, and let's, next we'll move to the equities. See, assets meaning economic resources, or it is also called as properties. Uh, okay, economic resources and properties are called as assets. So, the person who claims and writes are called equities. Okay, are you understanding? See here, once again I will repeat here, assets means economic resources and properties that comes under this assets. So claims and rights of these economic resources and properties are called as equities. These equities are of uh, two, it is also classified into two types, you can see here in this direction. So this is uh, first, first direction, okay. This is creditor's equity called as liability and owner's equity is called as capital okay so i think uh, all of you are understanding right okay now uh, accounting equation so accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity okay owners equity means capital owners equity means capital liability means creditors equity like that you have to understand now if in this if you to find out if you want to calculate owners equity what happens assets minus liability is called as owner's equity okay i think all of you understood this accounting equation now we will discuss one problem okay so fourth unit this is accounting equation definitely you will get a question regarding this uh, accounting equation or you may get a problem also if you are getting a theory question so all these things which we have discussed under accounting equation right uh, step by step with the uh, key points writing the side headings now we will discuss this problem. Show the accounting equation from the following transactions. Commenced business with cash 50,000. Sold goods to Rakesh on credit. Cost is 400, rupees 500. Paid rent in advance is 500. Salary outstanding is, outstanding is 100. Charged depreciation of 100 on furniture. Goods destroyed by fire is rupees 500. Purchased household goods for 15,000. 5,000 in cash and balance through a loan. Okay, so my dear students, please uh, try to understand the question. So first you have to understand the question, then only you can go for solving your answer, or, okay, solving your question. See, until and unless if you don't understand what is the exact content in the question, uh, it will be difficult for you for completing your answer within short amount of time. Okay, that's why read it once, twice, thrice. So if you re go on reading it in number of times, definitely you will get a, a good answer and you will give a good presentation in your answer sheet. So this is the question. So here 
uh, show the accounting equation from the following transaction. So commenced business with rupees fifty thousand. Now we have to start with the how much money is commenced. Okay. So th this is the question. Now we will see the answers. See here the solution is uh, regarding this accounting equation. We have to draw a table. In this uh, table, uh, give heading. First is serial number. Next is the transaction. Next is uh, showing here assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Okay, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So first part of the question, first part of the answer, this is commenced business with the cash of fifty thousand. So write fifty thousand, so which comes under this assets column and capital column also fifty thousand. Okay, like that we have to start. Next sold goods to Rakesh on credit. Cost is four hundred and five uh, five hundred. So what is the difference between four hundred and five hundred? Hundred is the difference. So write hundred under capital column and write five hundred minus four hundred because this is five hundred and this is four hundred, which cost is four hundred. So new accounting equation. So after each and every change in the transaction or each and every change in the account, so you have to write one heading. A new accounting equation is how much fifty thousand one hundred. Okay, fifty thousand five one hundred. How we are getting this fifty thousand five hundred? Five hundred plus five hundred. Fifty thousand plus five hundred minus four hundred. We are getting fifty thousand one hundred. So here, uh, see here, hundred rupees. So fifty thousand hundred rupees. So coming under this capital. Okay. So next, next part of the solution. See, paid rent in advance rupees five hundred. So what he is doing? He has already paid. Five hundred rupees in advance. Okay, so five hundred is paid and five hundred is minus. So new accounting equation is how much? Fifty thousand five hundred and here in this capital also fifty thousand five hundred. Next, see here salary out, uh, salary out, outstanding. So that is uh, how much outstanding? Hundred rupees new. Okay, hundred rupees. So salary outstanding is hundred rupees, right? So hundred rupees outstanding you write in this column here. So fifty thousand one hundred, fifty thousand one hundred. So minus, so remove hundred from this capital which is outstanding amount. So what is happening here? Fifty thousand hundred. So the outstanding will be hundred like that only. Okay. Now write understood. Now write here. Just copy it here. New accounting equation is fifty thousand one hundred, and uh, this is hundred and this is fifty thousand only. Next uh, part of the question is see. Depreciation on furniture rupees hundred rupees. What is the meaning of depreciation? Depreciation means there is something fall in price like that. We can understand the meaning of this depreciation. So depreciation on furniture is how much rupees hundred. So fifty thousand one hundred minus hundred. How much will you get? Fifty thousand and hundred here and forty nine thousand nine hundred here. Next goods destroyed by fire. How much rupees five hundred? So minus five hundred here and minus five hundred here, so you get forty nine thousand five hundred hundred forty nine thousand four hundred. Okay, so each uh, once you, as I told you starting of the answer, each and every change in the uh, activity, write new transaction like that. Okay, all right. Now it is clear. I think all of you are understanding. Right, goods destroyed by fire is how much five hundred rupees. So remove five hundred here and five hundred. So what is new? Accounting equation forty nine thousand five hundred. So write hundred here and forty nine thousand four hundred. Next last part of the question: Purchased household goods for fifteen thousand. See, try to understand in this uh, sentence: Purchased household goods for fifteen thousand. So total how much? How much he has purchased? Fifteen thousand. But he had not paid fifteen thousand. But instead of paying fifteen thousand, he paid only five thousand in cash and balance through loan. So remove five thousand here and five fifteen thousand here. Fifteen thousand. Why we are removing fifteen thousand here? So purchased goods. So overall goods is is how much? Fifteen thousand. Remaining ten thousand. Uh, you write here. Okay. So add up add all these things. So forty nine thousand five hundred minus five thousand. It is forty four five hundred. So it is ten thousand one hundred. And here it is thirty four thousand four hundred. Okay. So like that, uh, you have to complete your answer. Once you get a question regarding this uh, accounting equation, okay. So that's all, friends, for today's class. If you are not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Please discuss with your friends regarding the class work going on in our channel. 
okay so thank you very much thank you for watching